today I have the Visconti Lava Colors Homo Sapiens series to show you. One of the pens belongs to me. The others belong to Coles of London, who have lent out some pens to me for review purposes and to show you. And I think it's cool because I'm always like, yeah, you could send me some stuff to check it out. I'll send it back, not a problem. I just like to see the things in person. You know, sometimes, well, a lot of us, we don't have the luxury of going to a brick and mortar pen store and being able to feel pens, you know, feel the materials and take a closer look at them. I do have with me, fresh from Drombles in Houston, the Visconti Homo Sapiens Lava Colors in Sandstorm. That's in this box. Yeah. So this is just the other sleeve. It actually comes off. And you really get this nice designed box from Visconti. And I love this part because they take all the little Visconti V's, which could stand for Vanessa, and they make a pattern out of it, out of silvers and golds. And I think that's kind of nice. So let's take this lid off. And I have to say, I've already seen this pen. And the reason for that is I had a, the nib ground my nib is actually going to write differently from what you get at home out of the box. And so that's because there was a nib meister at Drama Ghouls over the weekend. So I said, hey, take a look at this nib. I'd like to get a special grind on it. Guys, once you start using a nib meister to get your nibs tailored for you, you're going to become spoiled and you're going to want to do that to all your pens. Of course, I can't do that. I've got a lot of pens, but I had a few that... His name is Kirk Spear, and he runs a shop called Pen Realm, which is located in Colorado. Uh, he sells pens, but he also offers nib grinding services, which is great. So he's become a really good friend of mine, and so that's what that's who handled my pen over this, the weekend. And I tell you, he does really good work. The pen. Let's get to the pen. Okay, so it comes with this very luxurious velvety pillow right here. It's actually very soft. I mean, like, I was like, I opened it and I touched the little pillow and I was like, well, okay, I'm good. <laughs> I was just like, I was thinking maybe I could put it on my desk and like use it as a, you know, like a hand rest, like when I use my mouse and like, I'll feel, it'll feel like a luxurious experience when I'm working. Underneath, when you take, take the pillow off, underneath is the pen and it's on its own little removable bed. <laughs> It's like, look, it is, doesn't it look like a little bed? Like, he's sleeping. So it comes out of here, and it is wrapped in plastic cellophane um, to keep it protected until it gets to you. So this is the Sandstorm with a ruthenium or gunmetal. No, I guess it's just ruthenium, but the trim is, it's, it's like metallic black. Let's just leave it at that. Has that classic Visconti spring loaded bridge pen clip. And so it looks like the Homo sapiens uh, made from the lava rock, but this one has colors and it comes in different colors. So I have with me also, which the only pen I'm actually going to ink today will be this one because it's mine. I'm going to leave the other ones clean. Um, so it also comes in a color called Blizzard. So here's Sandstorm lizard and then this is the ballpoint that was sent to me i know it's a ballpoint but hey guys it's not a big inferno so here it is so here's all three colors many people have their favorites mine just so happens to be the sandstorm and then second i would like the blizzard one but there's something about this tan color i really like and according to john lane who is the rep for Coles of London now, he says that the Sandstorm is actually like selling really good. It's like one of the best sellers out of the trio. So I don't know, I guess I'm not alone thinking that the Sandstorm is a really great color. Let's take a closer look at, let me continue with what's inside the box before we get into the parts of the pen. Underneath that little bed that the pen was sleeping on, we've got some literature. First one being a little brochure and it just has like all the little Visconti, well, not little Visconti, but all the Visconti pens. So you could just like, you know, check it out and start 
drooling all over the place. It also has uh, in here the international warranty. So I avoided my warranty when I decided to get my nib grounded. So that's something you need to keep in mind if you do end up getting your nib adjusted or getting a special grind on it, it does void the warranty. So if anything were to happen to your pen, and this pen does retail for $636. So if anything happens to your pen and you have a mess with the nib, consider your warranty voided. I'm willing to take that risk. Why? Because I'm the pen gangsta. I like to live dangerously. Back to the pen. So around the bottom here, see it says Homo sapiens, and then V for Visconti or Vanessa. It's a, it's weird, it feels like it's personalized just for moi. The cap is magnetic. So you see it goes right back on, no problem. Uh, when it's posted though, it is a friction fit, so it is not magnetic, but it does stay on pretty well. Look at the nib. It matches the rest of the trim. Well, duh, of course it would. What if it, if it were silver? Could you imagine how disappointing that would be? So it is a gold nib. This one is, this is a 14 karat gold broad nib that was ground into an imperial grind, which will have a special way that it writes. And I'll show you that in the, the next segment. So everything looks really cool. And what's cool is the, the, the feel of the material. It's really, you know, there's like this undes indescribable texture to it. It's like, it's rough, but it's not rough. It's been like sealed and sanded down and all that stuff. And so it won't stain or anything like that. But I do, I do know that the material itself comes from Italy, from Mount Etna. Wow, I just, I think I just went through puberty just now. <laughs> Mount Etna, Etna, E-T-N-A. <laughs> this is all lava rock and according to the description, this material is virtually unbreakable. So that means it can break, but if you were to drop it on the floor, it's not gonna break or crack, thank goodness. It's, it just has, a, there's a stone-like feel to it. And when you hold it for a little while, it, the material warms to your hand. Um, but it's just, you know, all these different qualities to it, it's just very fascinating to me. This is my first Homo sapiens. I know, congratulations to me, right? Now, I did mention before that it is sealed. So the material here is sealed with a anti-stain treatment. So that way, when you dip the pen into the ink, your section isn't gonna get stained or absorb that ink at all. So if you're worried about that, especially if you're thinking about the blizzard version of this pen, it's not going to stain, because could you imagine? But I mean, I just can't stop feeling. It's just this very cool feeling. It's it's like this very rough, but not rough, but smooth, kind of awesome material. <laughs> so it is a plunger fill pen. So let me get this going, because this is already, Kirk like went and made sure that this would you know, glide through so, and then you pull it out like this, and then when you press it in, it should suck up some ink. And so we're probably gonna do this, this like twice in the ink just to make sure I get the most ink in here that I could possibly get. This isn't like the Skylight series or uh, the other Homo sapiens pen where there's a uh, ink window. So I have no idea how this is filling with ink, but I just, you know, I'm glad they didn't do like a translucent area on this. I think it would spoil the simplicity of this pen. Why make it more complicated? You know, it, it has a lot going on already, you know, with the two uh, bands around the cap and then here where the, you know, the, the where it unscrews and stuff. I think it's plenty. So a window, I don't think it needs a window. I think it would spoil that aesthetic. But yeah, so also at the finial, there is a V and then at the knob here, it's uh, just the material. Well, the next thing to do is to ink up this pen and do a writing sample. And I'll also, I almost forgot to show you this. Is this two, two of the same? No, it's not. This is a ballpoint or maybe it's a rollerball. 
So I'll even do a little writing with that. Maybe you know somebody who's not into fountain pens, but they like nice pens. And it's also magnetic. And so you would get them this, I suppose. But if you like a set, if you like to have a rollerball and a fountain pen together, this actually makes a nice little set. So I'm gonna ink this up and it's party time. Thank you for joining me for this look at the Visconti Homo Sapiens Lava Color Collection. I really enjoy this nib. I think it's, you know, especially with, you know, the adjustments that were made to it, this is an awesome pen. And um, it's unique, it is so unique. And it's, it's, uh, it's nothing like anything else that they've got. So it's very cool. Which is your favorite color? Do you have one that you tend to gravitate towards? I know a lot of people tend to like this blizzard, but I mean, sales say this one's the, you know, the one that's doing well, but you know, I, I like all of them. I think it would be great, you know, if I could afford to have one of each um, of this color, but I had to go with the one that I think is the, the best color and that would be the sandstorm in my opinion. So yeah, I'm totally, totally cool with it. Well, I hope this video was helpful and I hope that it was also enjoyable to watch. Sometimes I just feel like I'm looking at the camera and just rambling about pens, but hey, I wouldn't want to talk about anything else except for maybe art. Thanks for joining me. And that's how the ink flows.